Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? What do they wish they could tell Leo at this time? All right, Leo, let's get into this. For Leo and love. What does Leo need to know regarding love? All right, Leo, let's start with how you feel about this person, and then we'll look at how they feel about you. What are Leo's energies, Spirit? This connection. Leo's energies and this connection. Okay, so you got give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. What about your person? Tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies in this connection? Finances and career for your person. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And then I have, yes, this is your soulmate at the bottom. Very strong connection between you. I feel like there are some obstacles possibly financially or you know someone's job maybe keeping them away or long distance possibly um they're not able to move closer to you or you're not able to really cement this in some way i have you on this side leo and your person on the other but feel free to flip them if they resonate more because they could be vice versa here all right so let's get some more what do i want to use i want to use this one get some more information actually let me look here I want this one at your mutual energies and I'll just set this card down first what are the mutual energies here for Leo what are the mutual energies for Leo spirit mutual energies please in this connection what are the mutual energies in this connection Flying, number 20, mutual energies. Pretty sure that that card's all about kind of flying. Ooh. Oh, we got sad embrace. Some sort of disappointment here, maybe regret or sadness. Maybe you're missing each other. Bottom of the deck, I have metamorphosis. Some sort of change transition period in your connection maybe something has changed in your dynamic maybe someone feels left out or heartbroken here let me look at number 20 you have the power to see things from a higher perspective so okay so there's something here that you're seeing differently or that someone in this connection is seeing differently hmm let's see let's get into the tarot here for leo spirit for leo please what is going on in this connection tell me about leo's energies what are leo's energies in this connection Seven. Okay, so you've been waiting, wondering, maybe having doubts about the future of this connection. Maybe you've already put in some time here. Oh my God, what's happening on my cards? This is happening every time that I'm like shuffling. Well, at least today. <laughs> this ends up happening. And usually, you know, I always have trouble shuffling, which longtime viewers will know because my hands are very small and these decks are not made for small hands. But um, this is more than usual, like, this is more than usual. Tell me about Leo, please. What are their energies in this connection? Sun. I feel like you see potential here. Maybe you're waiting for good news or a message. It's like you, you, you're thinking that if you were just hear this message, you would be fine. 
the full. Beautiful. So you want, you want, um, you see potential here, basically, is what I'm seeing. You see potential, however you have doubts, you know. This person might make you very happy. You might want to take a risk on this person, have a new beginning with this person, but you're having doubts. Tell me about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies? Six of Wands. What are Leo's person's energies? Seven of Pentacles. No. Seven of Pentacles, what am I saying? Seven of Cups Reverse. Hmm. Eight of Wands. Communication coming in from this person or perhaps your person is trying to move, like make a move here. I feel like they've had um, a hard time. Like I feel like successful, like, when it comes to being successful, your person has had a hard time. Um, I'm also getting the sense that maybe this person hasn't been able to make the right choices. Okay, tell me about the mutual energies here. What are the mutual energies here? Three of Wands. More waiting. It's like someone's waiting to hear back from someone or expecting a message and like patiently waiting. Maybe someone wants to venture out and continue on with this connection. Yeah, there you go. Six of Cups. Two of Pentacles at the bottom. So someone here is either juggling or trying to still make a decision. And, and while someone's trying to make this decision, the other person's left waiting here. Let me clarify this energy. So let's clarify. Let me clarify these energies please, for Leo. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Well, that's way too many. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Something here isn't fair to you or hasn't felt fair to you. Okay, tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Someone could not be playing fair here. Empress, you're wondering if this is going to grow, if there's potential here. Yeah, you're having doubts about the growth of a connection. And there's five of swords at the bottom. Because I feel like there's someone here that's not really invested. Maybe you're the one fully invested here, wanting to give this relationship a chance, wanting to work on this partnership. But the other person, it's almost like like there's an imbalance here tell me more about why is the sun here why is the sun here for Leo two of wands it's like you're waiting for someone to make a decision or you're waiting to make a decision here I feel like whatever you're waiting for You've been waiting for a while. I have the hangman reverse here and then the emperor right after that. It's like you've been waiting to like for someone to take charge, waiting for someone to make that final decision. Waiting for someone to become unstuck from wherever they're stuck, <laughs> whether it's through fear or finances or another commitment or whatever it is here. It's like you've been waiting for this and all you want is the, for the door to be open to you. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? 
that will reverse. It's like you want someone to break free or you want to break free of a situation to have a new beginning here. Can I get one more for the fool? Queen of Swords. Yeah, like a breakthrough, like like taking that sword and cutting anything out that gets in your way of a new beginning. You're waiting for justice. You're waiting for things to be balanced, fair to you. Could be dealing with a Libra. I have Taurus Libra here as well. Air sign, a Capricorn, another Leo, Aries. I mean, I could keep going. Every single tarot card has an astrological sign attached to it, so... I'm not going to go into all of that, but the main energies are Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So what about your person? What's the six of wands reversed about here? What's the six of wands reversed about here? Oh, I got two. Okay. Emperor, three of cups. Yikes. So this person, I feel like they, you know... Aries energy here with the Emperor. It's almost like they want to take charge of the fact that they're not successful. Um, maybe they want to come together with you. What's at the bottom? The star. Aquarius energy. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. It's like they want to restabilize, uh, organize their life, bring things back to order because something has been off for your person here. Six of coin. Yeah, definitely. Bring back, back things into balance. Queen of cups at the bottom. I'm not seeing a third party yet, but you know, some of you could be dealing with a third person. But more than anything I'm seeing is like your person wants to take charge of the situation, come together with you, um, reunite here, bring things back into balance. I feel like they're motivated by how they feel about you, Leo. By love, emotion. Tell me about this Seven of Cups reverse. Wow, the wheel. Beautiful. Change, big happy changes here with the wheel. The wheel, when it turns, it changes everything. You know, there's no going back. Your person wants a serious change. And that's probably what, what we had at the bottom metamorphosis. I'm um, sorry, I hit the tripod, but it's probably why we have metamorphosis at the bottom there because there is like your person wants a serious change here. And perhaps they're evaluating different options. Maybe they've chosen one. Whatever choice they've decided on here is a good one because it's bringing positive change. Can I get one more for the seven of cups? reverse three of coin reverse my goodness eight of coins at the bottom so this might be something where it is a, a continuation of effort for your person so maybe right now things are not really working out maybe work-wise career-wise or finances wise things are not exactly stable but your person's working on it with the king, uh, the eight of coin, you know, their focus on making something happen here. Now that might mean that you are ignored in some way. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Maybe you are feeling a bit left out here. Let me know if this is resonating for you, Aries. Um, leave me a comment and let me know if, how this story is resonating or how the reading is resonating for you. I know it's going to be different for everyone. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's way too many, but the full reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Oh, sorry. My, my dog in the background is arranging his bed, you know, just perfectly. And I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> Nine of Wands reverse. Knight of Coin reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. Three of Swords reverse. Some of you are definitely dealing with um, a person that has something going on. This finances and career is an interference, a quote unquote third party interference. 
The third party interference does not have to be another person. It can be finances and career. I feel like whatever this is, um, there could be communication coming in from this person. Um, but more than anything, I'm seeing this as action that your person's taking because I have the King of Wands here. Um, King of Wands, very determined energy, very charismatic, um, gets things done, takes measured risks. Um, your person's like on like a mission. <laughs> but with the Knight of Coin reverse, it's like they don't have all of the resources. They're very, very slow at a standstill. It's like it's got to be very frustrating for this person. Um, if you're waiting for commitment on for the, from this person, it's going to take some time. And then the Knight of Wands reverse, I feel like there's some sort of trust issues here that need to be overcome. Maybe your person has been standoffish or guarded um, because they're very weighed down by whatever is going on here. I feel like that's changing though. Tell me about this Three of Wands. What's this Three of Wands here? Yeah. Someone could be waiting for a, a commitment to be broken or waiting for someone to bring them commitment. I feel like that's very delayed. Yeah, until the choice is made. Be very careful. I feel like there's someone that's kind of uh, fearful here or stuck with this Eight of Swords. Maybe overthinking a situation. Um, maybe this might be you. You're very disappointed, heartbroken over what's not taking place here. I feel like you've been probably wanting things to move forward, uh, wanting to clear up the confusion, wanting to have clarity. I think that you're still going to be waiting for that. We'll see. Tell me more about this Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past, a past life connection, or a soul soulmate here. Whoa. Oh, hold on. Two of coin reverse, three of wands reverse. Interesting. There could be put um movement here. Tell me more about the six of cups. You might have good memories with this person, good times that you think back on. Ten of coin. You want long I feel like you want long term with this person. Yeah, be very careful. The sun reverse with the seven of swords. Something here could be uh, hidden from you or something could be coming to light about this person. Oops. Um, it could have something to do with career, finances, or another sort of family situation. This person could have children. There could be children involved here. I have two cards here. The sun for me is a card about children as well. So be careful because it could be that someone here, in order to restore the balance, they need to come clean and do what needs to be done. Um, and that might take more effort than you're probably thinking about. I can tell you they're working on something here. So let's see, what don't you know? What's, what would this person tell you if they could? What other insight can we get into this connection? What do you need to know? What is Leo need to know, Spirit. I regret what happened. What else? What's this Leo need to know? It's way too many. Okay. You are my soulmate. Bottom of the deck, we got you're always on my mind. Okay. So this person thinks about you. They think you, they think of you as their soulmate. Someone, I mean, I feel like this is a special connection and possibly that's why this is so painful for you or difficult for you. Um, I feel like you, you want to put in the work. You want this to work, Leo. For some reason, there's a hold up. So let's get into this. What do you need to know? And what is challenging or blocking this connection? Let's get into this. What does Leo need to know? What's the 411 for Leo? What information can we get about this connection spirit that we don't know? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? What 
Wow, tower. So there's something coming that might be restoring balance here with the six of coin. Queen of cups reverse, four of wands reverse. Five of cups at the bottom. I feel like there's going to be a disappointment still. Heartbreak here. I feel like there's the stability that you want, the the possibly the marriage, the long-term commitment that you want. I feel like there's still going to this tower is still needing to to fall for that to happen. And in the meantime, you're probably thinking like, you know, is this ever going to happen? I'm starting to lose faith in anything here um, taking place. What are the challenges, blockages, or the hidden factors? Justice reverse, King of Swords reverse. Yeah, something's not fair to you here. It's going to feel unfair. There could be a legal situation that needs to wrap up that might not be in someone's favor like they want it to be. Yeah, Six of Wands reverse. There is delayed success here. Possibly someone not recognizing the other person's worth as well. Someone here who might care a lot about how they appear to others. Someone might need to walk away from a situation here with the Eight of Cups. Let's clarify. Ooh. Spirit. Let me clarify these messages for Leo. Let me clarify these messages for Leo, please. What's this tower about? That's what I care about the most here. What's this tower about? Strength reverse. What's this tower about? I feel like this tower will be very difficult for both of you or one of you at least. Yeah, something's going to come to light with the Seven of Swords reverse. Whatever seems off, whatever is someone's trying to hide, they're not going to keep it hidden for long. Ace of Cups. This might open the door for a new for new love here with the Ace of Cups. You know, there you are, Leo, with the Strength card reversed. This is um, someone needing to have a little bit more patience, someone needing to let go of, you know, trying to control the situation, someone need, needing to let things unfold naturally. There's possibly someone very impatient about what's taking place, not letting things kind of like just happen. You know, they're, they're possibly trying to make something happen against their better judgment or something that could even be sabotaging them. Like they could be sabotaging themselves without realizing it. Someone's still going to get caught with the Seven of Swords reverse. This is like a lie or someone getting caught like running away. I feel like it's, they're going to piss someone off with this Queen of Wands reverse. Again, with the Two of Pentacles here, Eight of Wands reverse. This is going to, I feel, cause a delay. Um, and someone's going to need to make a choice, a final choice. Because I feel like they've been deciding for a while and they need to just make the choice. What's this Four of Wands reverse? What's this Four of Wands reverse? The World reverse. Unfinished business, lack of closure, a cycle not fully uh, being wrapped up here. So I feel like what you need to know is that there is a tower that's either taking place or is happening right now um, that's going to determine whether this actually happens. <clears throat> Ace of Cups. I feel like whatever instability is happening here, someone needs to figure out what they're going to do with the Hermit Virgo energy here. I feel like they're thinking about the past and about a new, how to make this new beginning happen here. Um, they could also be thinking about children if there are children involved. With the world reverse and the hermit, someone's trying to figure out a way to really wrap up a cycle and start a new one. It could also be that someone here, there's unfinished business that they're still thinking about. Like if you're someone from their past um, and they're still thinking about you, you're always on my mind here. I can't let go right behind that. I mean, what are the chances? Look at this. And then past life connection right after that. So if this is someone that is still thinking about you, even years later, I feel like this is unresolved and, you know, someone needs to do something about this. <clears throat> 
So what are the challenges or the blocks? I have the King of Swords reverse. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse a challenge or a block here? Wow, the lovers. Ten of cups, what? The lovers is about a choice. Okay, give me one more for the King of Swords reverse, please. Either this person doesn't have clarity about the choice they need to make. Oh, wow. Some of you that are dealing with a third party where there's a, another person involved, I feel like this person hasn't made a choice yet what to do about this other person. Yeah, they're still deciding whether they want to return whether they want to leave, there's something they're not communicating here or they don't have the clarity here. They need to pick one, they can't have both. You know, either the past, the future, one or the other, yes or no. Like th this needs to be decided on. And this is like a final decision. Um, this is necessary. Like if, if, if this person never makes a decision, nothing will happen here. And I think you know that. Um, Tell me about justice reverse. I feel like right now a challenge or a block is that something's unfair or unbalanced here. Justice reverse could also be deception. Tell me about justice reverse. Karma as well. The moon reverse. I'm telling you, something here is coming to light. Pisces energy with the moon. Tell me about justice reverse. Three of cups reverse. Tell me about justice reverse. This could uh, be someone trying to divorce or have something to do with a legal system. Um, but more than anything, I'm getting like, this is something hidden that's coming to the surface. Yeah. And I feel like someone needs to open up about it and they're not, or they're blocked from opening up. Page of Cups reverse, five of, of coin reverse. They're trying to recover what they've lost. Um, maybe wrap up or fix their finances, make something happen here with the magician. But with the eight of wands reverse, it's like the message is blocked or there's um, a delay and them really telling you. This could even be an apology here that someone needs to make. But with the moon reverse, the justice reverse, and the three of cups reverse, some of you I feel are going, are going to find out you're in a third party situation if you don't know already. Um, I feel like also this, if you're not in a third party situation at all, this is going to delay you coming together with this person, whatever comes to light here with the moon reverse. And they might have to apologize to you or just open up, tell you the truth here. Tell me about this Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, this needs to be rebalanced. I have another Six of Pentacles here. Someone needs to bring this back into balance and it's going to be brought in back into balance with a choice. So if you're sitting there wondering, well, how? It's because someone needs to make a decision. And if you don't know what this decision is about, you need to figure it out. If you're sitting there, you're wondering, well, I don't know what kind of decision they're making. Then they're hiding what exactly they're dealing with. 